Good Wednesday to all you YouTubers and eBay sellers. Cap Guy here on a cold and drizzly day in Oki Land. Um, I had nine items sold yesterday and I went sourcing this morning at the local store. Um, first, I'll get into the items I sold yesterday. I sold nine items, uh, had $26 and change invested, and sold them for $217 and change. So, not a bad day. They're not all like that, but that's a good day uh, with very little investment and good profit. So that doesn't the two seventeen doesn't include eBay fees or uh, or uh, shipping, but uh, that's the cost of the goods that uh, I received. Um, I'll get into the listings that I did uh, sold, and then I'll get into the items that I purchased today. I found some pretty good finds today. Okay. Yesterday, I sold nine items, starting off with a Puma cap. I sold it for eight bucks. Um, had a couple dollars invested, so not a big profit there. I talked about this Bible yesterday. I shipped it off, and I sold it for $50. I had a $2.02 investment in that. The Chi Institute uh, Herbology Medicine DVD, I uh, sold that for $10. I had all of 18 cents in that. I found that down at the bins. Same with the Smith sunglasses. I shipped those to Denmark. A uh, fellow paid me $29 for them. And again, I probably had a quarter invested. Uh, an HP docking station. I uh, sold that for, uh, I believe I said that, $25, yes. And uh, I paid the shipping on it, so not a big profit on that one. Uh, but I found it and paid a couple dollars for it at the bins. Um, since jeans. 34s, sold those for $17.50. I had $3 investment in those. A uh, Georgia Bulldogs fitted jersey. That was new with the tag, and I bought that over a year ago, so it's one of the last things I bought from a, uh, a, a sporting goods store locally that was going out of business, and this was a fitted jersey, new with tags. I paid $5. It originally was over $50, and I sold it for uh, $20. Uh, now, I did free shipping on that, so again, I didn't make a lot of money on it. Um, a Gen 5 cap, that's, uh, kind of a, uh, gun Glock type cap. I sold that for $9 plus shipping. Had a couple dollars invested in that one. A Nintendo DS, Pokemon, Pearl Vision, Ranger, and Diamond version. The cartridges only. I paid $10 for all three. They didn't have a case. I sold them for $35 and those will go media mail. So I don't have much. I did free shipping. Uh, this one is a HP 62 ink cartridge. It's new in a box, XL. I paid $5 at a thrift store yesterday, and I talked about this, I think, yesterday in my video. I sold it for $24 with free shipping yesterday. So I made $12 on a, on a thing of ink that someone didn't need anymore. They, I didn't really want to spend $5 for it, but I knew that any ink in a cartridge, uh, still sealed in the box, has a little bit of value. So when you're... When you're doing this stuff, uh, comp the stuff out and look at it. Pick up that ink, I can tell you that. Uh, it, you may not make a lot of money, but it's quick flip investments and people will buy it. Now, on the things I found today, I spent $105 at a local Goodwill. And some of the things I found are, I mean, just a couple of them are going to make my money back. So here we go. The first thing I found was, uh, I didn't know this brand, but it's uh, V-O-U-R-I. And it's a woman's hoodie. Uh, this comps out at over thirty to forty dollars for this uh, hoodie used, pre-owned. I paid four dollars and fifty cents for it. Uh, this is a uh, a sweater, and uh, I paid again four fifty because today it's Tipsy L's. It's a Christmas type thing, but I didn't think uh, you know a lot of you probably say, "Hey, he's buying Christmas sweaters in January." Well. Uh, to be honest with you, I looked them up, I comped them, and there's a lot of Christmas sweater, uh, sweaters selling right now. So I grabbed it. And plus, it's got the llama on it, and lots of people like my daughter love them llamas. Here's another one. Uh, this is a uh, party sweater, and it's another Christmas sweater, but it's really nice. <clears throat> and I think that's, the colors are going to sell this. And again, $4.50. On Wednesdays where I live, the Goodwill's... Uh, this kind of stuff is usually 535, but with the discount of 15% on Wednesdays, 
I paid 450 for almost every item in this pile. So uh, that's a definitely, uh, these are $20, $25 sweaters all day long. Uh, the next one is uh, a popular brand with some of the younger people. It's Free People, and it's a woman's top, sweater type, but it's a light sweater type top. Again, $450. That's definitely a $30 to $40 top. Uh, the next two are the same, but they're new with tags. They're not screen printed. This is what I do know most about. These are Villanueva jerseys of the Pittsburgh Steelers. They are new with tags. They're on field. They wanted $20 a piece. Obviously, I took my discount on them. So I do have a little bit invested, about $16 a jersey, but I've got two brand new with tags jerseys. I should be able to flip those for around $35, $40. Uh, the next one, I don't normally buy a lot of Tommy Hilfiger. I have a lot of Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger, Lacoste type polo shirts on my uh, eBay site. But this one, because of the patterns and the colors, I really liked it. And I think I can flip this again, $450. Uh, of course, this one's my team, so when I see Dallas Cowboys, it's not my size, but I do buy them, and, and uh, this one's kind of nice. Uh, it's uh, by the game, and those uh, are selling for about $30 to $40, so I will definitely take this vintage uh, sweater and sell it. The next three, um, these are new with tags, and I, I just heard about this brand. It's LuLaRoe, and these are skirts and, and dress type. Uh, and for 450, these all comp out above thirty dollars. So for 450, I'll grab those all day long too. And you can see the different ones. That's a skirt. Now this one's a used Lularoe, so maybe not as much, but it's a it's a woman's skirt. And Lularoe again is a good brand, and I'm learning more and more in the women's. The next one is a hoodie too, or not a hoodie, but it's a woman's athletic type top. It's a split and uh, $450, I comp this and it's definitely a $25 uh, athletic top for women. Uh, the next one I was a little confused on, maybe y'all can help me with this. I know Eileen Fisher's valuable. I looked up this brand, Eileen. Um, Eileen, it doesn't say Eileen Fisher, so I don't know if it is Eileen Fisher but it's a real pretty pink sweater and I'm sure I can get my money back and more. Ralph Lauren polo, as I said earlier, I don't buy it a lot anymore because I have a lot of them and I do sell the bigger sizes. If you find the four X's and five X's, you'll sell those all day long because a lot of manufacturers don't make a lot, you know, IE Under Armour, Nike, all that kind of stuff. Um, this one, I only bought it because one, the price was in the $2 and 50 cent range and second, I, ha I don't have any that look like this with these kind of stripe patterns. So I thought it was kind of unique, and I think somebody might grab that. That's probably an $18 to $20 t-shirt. And the last, and these were always popular, seems like more so with the men than the women, but Rock Revival jeans. Um, these were in good shape, and I got these for... Uh, $4.50, so $4.50 for Rock Revivals. I'll take those all day long. I do sell some in the $70 range for men's. So, and uh, when you can get them cheap, you, you grab them. The next and the last things are some uh, Wii uh, games. Um, they had them marked at $12. I talked to them about it, uh, about the comps, and I got them down to 303 on each one of these. So I'll take these for 303 with cases and books. We play a couple times. There's one Wii Sports and then Wii U Nintendo Land. I should be able to get at least $10 to, uh, to $18, $20 for some of these. So, again, all in all, I think it was a good day. Um, keep plugging away. Finding uh, treasures out there. Of course, those of you that do this know that the sourcing is the fun part. Um, I, I would do that full time if I could and, and let somebody else handle the shipping and the researching and all that stuff. I love looking them up. And it's funny because years ago I hated to go to the mall, but now that I do this full time, I love thrifting. Still don't go to the mall, but I do. Uh, I do enjoy uh, finding treasures, looking them up for the things that I'm not familiar with. Um, one side note: Yesterday I posted a video um, of uh, some things that I had found, and one of them was this. It's a Pokemon Leaf Green version game 
and I found that in a uh, thrift store for $1.98. I put it on eBay for $34.99 with free shipping, and I've already sold it this morning. So, again, anything that's Pokemon or Zelda, Mario, video game-wise, grab them. Grab them. Uh, I don't have a lot invested, so uh, I'll take that profit for sure. If y'all have any questions, please comment, and please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. And y'all have a great day. Good luck selling.